Hi there. We're back at Capers Emporium. I'm Mary Beth Gard, and I'm here with Rhonda Hunter, who owns Style Photography. She loves to cook, but she has not had the opportunity to fully avail herself of the wealth of kitchen gadgets that we have here at Capers. So we're going to play another round of <laughs> Guess the Gadget. You ready, Rhonda? I am ready, and I love gadgets. <laughs> I love gadgets, too. Like this one, for example. What does that do? You can be a rooster? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I don't, I've, I've been trying to figure this one out. Looks like a bird. Well, this is the uh, easiest possible way to core a pepper, like a bell pepper or one of the large colored peppers. You stick it down in here. The points are extremely sharp, and all you do is give it a turn and it will pull out the core and then you're ready to stuff your pepper with your favorite stuffing, whether that's, uh, that's what I'm making meat tonight, or too. rice or whatever. <laughs> you you need tonight. one of those. I do. How about this? This reminds me of with being with my grandma. Is it oh, a lemon? Something to do with lemon? It is. And this is like the new and improved uh, way to juice a lemon or a lime. And the reason I say that is because you don't have to get messy while you're doing it. And you end up with the juice being in a container that has measurements on it. So it goes all the way up to a half cup, or if you would rather have it in ounces, you can have it in ounces. So you put this on here, you put your half a lemon or lime, and you just turn it and it takes care of the rest. And then it has a pour spout. So when you're ready to use the juice, it easily comes out where you want it and doesn't make uh, a pile of juice somewhere that is not a good idea. When life gives you lemon, make Margaret, I mean lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> this is for when I make a smoothie and then I want to take it with me when I'm running. <laughs> kind of like a baby bottle on the yeah, top, like, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, it's you don't actually want to suck it too hard. a pancake batter <gasps> um, device that allows you to form your pancakes perfectly. So you put your batter in, you snap off the cap, and then you just squeeze and you get your batter where you want it. Because if you're trying to get the batter out with a ladle or a spoon, you're always gonna have a little trail there. And you can and make a heart. You, don't. you can make any shape that you want. You can make your silver dollar pancakes or the large ones. Hey, batter, batter, batter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what I think. You know how you have your ring sizer? <laughs> oh, yes. I'll tell you a funny story. I was trying on a ring in an estate jewelry place one time and I got it on and it was enormous. It was just huge. And I said, good Lord, how big was the woman who used to own this ring? The jeweler just looked me straight in the eye and said, big enough to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was new. Okay, so no, this is not a ring sizer. Because if we had people with rings that sizes, we'd be afraid, very afraid. I would be very afraid of that. This is a jar opener. So you put it around a jar of the correct size, you squeeze this in, and then you use the power of leverage to just easily open it. It's great for those days when you feel a little weak. Oh, your husband's not home and you need to open a jar. Well, I wasn't going to invoke the whole man thing, but yeah, exactly. Um, something that Madonna wore in one of her videos. <laughs> <laughs> a little, what do you call those things? Where you, what's pasty. Yeah, pasty. Not that I know. Uh, for pastry. Uh, uh, Pasties for pastries. Yes. No, <laughs> this is a ribbon maker for use with vegetables. So if you want to make flat, ribbon-shaped noodles to substitute for regular pasta out of zucchini or yellow squash or something of that nature, 
you do it with this, it has very sharp blades in here and you j literally just turn your vegetable. And then you can make a, uh, a vegetable lasagna noodle free or anything like that. So people who are trying to get more vegetables or avoid gluten, it's a great thing. I don't know what this is. The bullet? <laughs> you know the... Oh, I know what you're thinking of, the Nutribullet. No, this has no <laughs> motor that goes with it or anything. This, this is charming. is the egg twister. And the way it works is you open it up and someone has over tightened this uh, today. It was following me when I was playing with it, trying to figure uh -huh. it out. Aha! Well, then, you know, we have <laughs> to invoke that man thing uh, <laughs> to get that open. But it is designed for a time when you're making a lot of things with hard-boiled eggs. So you put five hard-boiled eggs in there and you fill it up to here with water. That's the water line. And you just shake it up and down for like six to ten seconds and you will easily be able to get the uh, shells off the eggs. But don't over tighten the thing it said like oh you could put candy right there and these little blades come down and smack my finger it's a behavior modification device is that yes what that's thinking? what i need so i don't eat all of your shoes over there it actually is and a i cherry broke it again pitter. so you you uh put your cherries in and then you uh put this in and you just close it with the um, lid here and it's gonna squeeze out your pits from your cherries. And it does so um, six at a time. So it's much more efficient than... I want a cherry pit. That's awesome. I don't know, let me... Ah! Oh, no. I already have I pears in each, I'm just fine. Okay, well... It is actually another form of cherry pitter. So you can use the one that does multiple at a time, or you can sit there in front of the TV with a bowl and just just uh, one trigger at a time pit your your um, cherries. I'm gonna go like this to my husband. Scott, <laughs> I just pitted another one. Scary. I don't know. I was trying to figure this out earlier. I'm kind of afraid to touch it. Do you, I know you put some kind of vegetable in there and slice it. I don't know. Doesn't have to be a vegetable, but you can do vegetables in there. And you you were right about the slicing. It has a blade here in the middle. And uh, you've got slots here. So what you're going to do is put your cherry tomatoes or your oh. grapes in there. And then lickety split, it cuts them in half. So if you're making... A chicken salad, for example, and you want to put grape halves in there. Yeah. It's the quickest way to or if get your meal prepping the way you want. Yes. I, I don't know what this is. A pe I think maybe the pizza pizza castanet. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. I well, don't know what it pizza is. Pizza is a good instinct because this is a two in one device. It allows you to use the wheel to cut your pizza into slices I or your focaccia it. bread or whatever. And then it allows you to grab them to serve them and put onto your platter or plate. So ingenious. There's some pizza places I would like to take this with me in my purse. Oh, see so yeah. how they like that. <laughs> I don't know. A little lasso. I, I I don't know what this is. I can't even begin. Somebody who's there at your house, family member or a friend, open the jar of pickles and then you watch them do what? They stick their fingers into the pickle jar and bring out a pickle. And you're thinking, no! Yeah. Well, with this, that doesn't have to happen because you put the silicone ring around the lid or around the opening of your pickles. The lid still fits on perfectly. And then you've got the pickle fork. And so you use this to spear the pickle 
it's not being touched by human hands. They bring it out, then they get the pickle off with their other hand, and then this goes back down in here. So the only thing that those sharp things ever touch are the pickles themselves. Much more sanitary and much more appetizing. And if you have boys, you want this because, you know, they scratch their pickle. So <laughs> that's perfect. I want one of those. Okay, so this, there's a giant clue there. It's an apple. I don't know because you can't put an apple and you can't fit. Wait, is that an apple? Yeah, I don't know. It's a smasher. I don't know. This is an apple cutter that spiralizes the apple into thin slices. So what you do is you um, put your apple on top here and you see that it has a blade over here yeah and then it has this spot this is where the top or bottom of your apple will go i usually put the bottom down here and then uh i start turning the apple and it makes these slices that are thin and they're shaped like the apple itself and you keep going this is there so that when it gets down to the point that you have just a small piece of apple left, you can safely turn it with this by putting this on top of that. But the uh, slices come out Can you make the here. apple chips with them? Like you in the air fryer? The apple chips in the air fryer, yes. That's a great use for that. And it's just a, a nice way. It's Love taking that. the core completely out. You've got these good looking apple shaped slices. And you can give this to your favorite teacher oh, and be yes. the pet. Well, this has the clue. It has something to do with a corn. Yes. Um, if I guess right, do I get to keep it? No. <laughs> All right. Tell go ahead and guess anyway. You take it after you cook it and you. You do. Yes. That's exactly right. Good. Good job. Uh, this is the corn zipper. And if you, uh, what is it about? If you're eating corn that's on the cob, half of it will stick in your teeth and you'll need a whole dental floss concession. But if you cut it off of there and you eat it with a fork, that doesn't happen. I don't know, but I always use my top teeth and I get one roll and then it goes all the way and there's no corn left. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, my corn after I'm done looks like something. But else I do have it all in my step teeth. Up and, yeah. And finish eating it. But the <laughs> corn zipper does a wonderful job. So if you're canning corn, if yeah. you're freezing corn, or if you just want to s serve it off the cob, you need one of these. You won't you won't hurt yourself with this, which is a wonderful thing. That's the most important thing. Um. I don't know. It's a mixer? It is. It just keeps somebody like me occupied. I don't know what it is. Well, it's called the emulster. And um, when you have oil and vinegar that you're trying to mix together, they don't want to mix together. And you want to get them into an emulsion so you have the flavors blended. This allows you to do that. It has the measurements over here, so you can actually make your dressing in here as well. One of my favorite salad dressings is uh, one that Cheryl Mocha, a local chef, showed me how to make. It's made with almond butter, olive oil, vinegar, sugar, I use Blenda, Worcestershire sauce, cayenne pepper, and some minced up shallots. So mm, it's a pretty good. stout dressing because of that almond butter, that's thick. And uh, this has no trouble at all with it. And the recipe that she gave me makes more dressing than I need for just a, a salad for uh, my husband and I. So you can store it in the refrigerator in this too. And this is dishwasher safe. When it's time for you to use it, you just pull this part out and you can pour it out the pour spout 
or you can just turn it around to pour out of the, the pour spout too. You see that it's designed so that this side over here will allow you to pour even when the lid is on. So if you're a messy person, that's important. And I'm messy, so this is perfect for me. It's like a tire. Okay, do you use this to make cookie dough and make tire tracks on it? For no, dirt bike I, riders. I think you probably could. Yeah, my daughter would love that. And then you cut it. This is uh, this is a uh, device that's used with fresh strawberries. It's called the pushberry. And you take your strawberry and you put the pointed end in here and it will cut the strawberry into quarters and it will remove the pith in the center and it will leave the green stem part on here. So if you're using a recipe where you want your strawberry cut up, this is a very efficient way to do that. I don't know if you should hand me that. <laughs> Might not be old enough for this. I don't know. Um, does it stay? I don't know. Yeah, there's a way to lock it. And uh, one thing that I like is that it explains to you right on the front here how to lock it. But it is a pizza cutter. <laughs> and <laughs> so, um, so you have the safe mode where it's inside there or you can uh you can bring it out and you can lock it down here and then you can slice your pizza or you can slice the pancakes for your grandbabies oh yes yeah that's really awesome i like that um to smash the lemon no? that would be overkill why use a device like this when we can use a device like that little bitty one over there? To make there? a hamburger? No. Over For here. my size. Oh, okay. okay. This is a potato ricer. Why would you want to rice potatoes? Well, after you've cooked the potatoes, if you want it to be as light and fluffy as humanly possible, you put them into here and when you squeeze, and it takes it takes some going to do that. And this, there's a second blade up here that you can substitute, so you can get smaller or bigger ones depending on what you're doing. When you make mashed potatoes, starting with rice potatoes, they're going to be the lightest fluffiest potatoes you have ever had. You'll think you need a show on the Food Network after you accomplish that. The other thing you can do is this has the larger holes, so you can use this to rice cauliflower. You so that, you I can cook it. cauliflower, then put it in there and rice that. You can use that. Um, I just made a recipe recently with um, with coconut milk mixed with mm. rice cauliflower served with salmon it was fabulous uh, okay so this is asparagus tips maybe i don't know a pineapple that's not a pineapple i don't know what it is it looks kind of funny but i don't know what it is well it's one uh, it's asparagus with it. one of my favorite vegetables and uh, this is called the artichokester. Artichoke. Um, artichoke. In an artichoke, you have uh, the ability to steam it, boil it, cook it on the grill, microwave it. But however you do it, you're going to end up with the choke inside. So you've got the heart, which is the great part, and you've got the choke which has all those little fibrous hairs that you do not want to get into your mouth. So with this, you can put it onto the bottom of your artichoke and turn, and it will lift out the heart. And then you can use this tool, which is very sharp around the edges, 
to separate the choke from the heart. And it's all neatly contained in one thing. If you're trying to do that particular task with a paring knife, you can get hurt. So yeah. this is an ingenious way to it get is. the job done. For potatoes? Yes, as a matter of fact. right? Yes, good job. Two. This is for Perfect. doing a Hasselback potato. I call them um, armadillo potatoes, but they're, they're Hasselback. And what we mean by that, you'll take a baked potato that's been partially steamed or baked. Even when I'm doing them in my air fryer, I'll steam them first so they aren't rock hard anymore. And then you take this and you make cuts across so that when you finish cooking the potato, it fans out like that and you can put your yummy toppings down in the individual slices that open up when they are further cooked. But this makes it easy. And the nice thing about this is it makes perfectly even cuts. And that's so important when you're cooking to make sure that the, the uh, cooking is consistent when you have even sized pieces. It's easy to make it that way. When you have a mess on your counter and you take the little, clean it up. Yeah, that'll work. Or you're like cutting. A butler. Yes, and you can also cut with it. This is a bench scraper, so you can use it to separate dough into uh, oh, pieces, yeah. and you can also use it to move things from one place to another. If you ever see somebody who is using their chef's knife to move things off their cutting board to yeah. someplace else, not a good idea. It's not good for the knife, and you're going to have to sharpen it more frequently. This is what you need is a bench scraper to accomplish the job. A wine opener. Wine? What kind of bottles oh, of wine are you drinking? Not a wine, maybe a beer opener. <laughs> Yes, beer. No. It's gonna open That's beer. It's gonna open soft drinks. So, and uh, you know those little bottles of cheese stuff that you get at the oh, grocery yes. store by Old English. You know those kinds of bottles that have those metal lids can easily be pried up. This is actually a five-in-one Gefu tool, and it will do the cans, the bottles. It will lift up the. Uh, tabs on your sodas and and um, and cans of spam, you know, in case you're eating spam. And uh, it's a handy thing to have. Around. I really didn't know what this was, but this right here gave it away, and I thought that was Isn't a bottle of wine. That's Isn't it said. great? It's got a cheat sheet <laughs> that comes on it that stays on it even after you wash it, so you don't have to look in the drawer and think. What is that? It tells you what it is. So when you want to eat really fast before anybody sees you, and you can, <laughs> you can put this in your purse and take it to the restaurant and have clean your own silverware. Well, all of those could be, Ooh, could be done, it. but this is for uh, use with melons particularly. So you slice and you scoop. So you can go around the inside edge oh, yeah. of the rind and then you can cut it into pieces and then you can get it out with that. Oh, is this kind of the same thing? Grapefruit? It will uh, allow you to um, take this part and go in and just slice right through your avocado. So you're gonna dig these little tines into your seed and scoop the seed out that way. And then you're going to take this and you're gonna put it into your avocado and all in one fell swoop, it's going to slice it into beautiful slices. So, I love my beautiful too. avocados. Is this for the microwave? 
You could put your macaroni and cheese in there? You could. It's also a steamer. Oh. And the way that it's made on the inside is it's got um, little ridges that allow you to have water in the very bottom. So they're in the channel of the ridge. And then you put your, your broccoli or what have you on top. You shut the lid. It's food grade silicone and you can quickly and easily steam in here. So we have a number of additional items. You did very well today guessing the gadget and we're going to save the others for next time and I'll be looking for new ones to stump you with. You're gonna have to work harder. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm getting better. Challenge accepted. For I started cooking more. Emporium. Thank you for tuning in and come on down. We're the happy place to shop. <laughs>